What's going on guys? We're going for a third upload today. Um, I have a lot of time on my hands and we're going to cover uh, how to play a mortar cycle deck. Uh, s same concepts can apply can be applied uh, to other siege decks. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of trophies have been lost. It doesn't really look like it, but if you look at my battle log, in order to get some <laughs> replays for this, I lost quite a lot of matches. Um, you can see when I started using okay I started using it here lost my first match then I lost another one came out with a win lost another one came out the win and then tied so I've only won two matches we're gonna watch the two wins and we're gonna watch the tie uh, just sort of this was actually a really fun match because he was also running uh, he's trying running a weird expo deck so we're gonna go into the first one our first win So I'm not a super good siege player, so that could be attributed to why I <laughs> am not winning a lot of matches with this deck, uh, and why I'm winning so many with my hog cycle deck, even though the uh, level the levels of the cards are pretty close. Uh, I think I'm going to go with a straight mortar play right away, um, and then do the knight in front. Uh, pretty solid. I don't like it when a mortar doesn't lock straight onto the tower because... It doesn't have a super long life cycle, uh, so uh, this was me like trying to defend it, but they already locked on. So I'm like, okay, I got some decent damage. Mortar's really slow, um, but the thing that I like about this deck is that you can cycle to your mortar so quickly. I'll show you the deck uh, after this replay that I'm using, but I think it's like a 2.9 uh, rocket mortar cycle. Uh, really popular uh, on ladder and like the higher arenas. I don't use it on my on my main account because I am just so bad with siege. So I'm playing a defensive mortar here to sort of draw his giant away, and I use the knight to take care of the uh, uh, bomber, uh, skeleton bomber. I forget what he's called. Uh, so I use skeletons to help take out the uh, giant because a mortar can't fire back. It's just a defense. It has quite a lot of health. So here we go. I'm going with another uh, mortar, another mortar play. Uh, I like my archers; they're taking care of that witch for me. And then right here, I'm, I'm like, okay, mortar, mortar's locked on, so I'm good. So I'm just going to let the mortar do his things. Probably gonna get one more shot, maybe not. So at this point, I'm just like, okay, we're just gonna take a lot of damage over here. So we ice spirit it. We take about I don't know, three, four archer shots. Not too bad. I make a mistake up here, I place Mortar knowing that he has Giant in rotation, because then he just places the Giant right in front. Uh, the, the weaknesses to this deck, I will say, uh, you'll, see in, you'll see in the draws, when someone knows, right when you put down Mortar, uh, they have like a tank in hand. Uh, it's mostly like those two tank decks. This was a lucky rocket, I just happened to get the Witch, I was just trying to start rocketing uh, to start getting that tower down in health. The rocket's a low level, and I think it only does like Something like 300, I think it does 373 damage, not a lot, uh, like because it tournament standard, it does in the 400, it goes in the 400s. So here we go here, I'm stopping another giant here with defensive mortar. I believe I'm going to drop another mortar here uh, in a bit. I'm going to uh, rocket the tower again. Actually no, I would just play defensive mortars now. Now, be, now because I got the tower low enough, I can um, mortar and arrow because I have three spells. If I, because I knew that if I mortar, arrowed, and zapped, I still would have gotten it. So I'm playing defensive right now. Just got to stop this push. Not sure why he dropped the miner there. Probably to help take out that mortar. But I got I got four archers down. Uh, four archers never lose a game. Uh, and I'm just gonna rock it right here, and then I'm gonna arrow. Uh, I could have just zapped, but. There's no way he could have uh, won, come back from that one. A bit hard with the level 8 mortar going against level 10 players because mortar only does about 200 uh, some odd shots. So I'll show you the deck. Um, there, there we go. This is the deck. We got knight. This is a, this is a, something you usually drop in front of your mortar after you place it. I usually like to drop ice spirit too just in case there's like uh, supporting, supporting units that could be stronger because you are fighting on their side. And also put archers behind. Skeletons more distract. Um, eye spirit. Then arrows are more for like the air units. Uh, you'll see in a, a 
future replay. So here's a here's me playing in Expo. It's sort of weird. It's sort of like a Zap Beatty Expo. I don't exactly know what he was going for. Because there's a lot of good cards in here. It's just that there's not a lot of synergy. Uh, so I put Expo right down right off the bat. Just got to... Um, I put the Expo down first because whatever card you put down first is the card you're going to cycle to first. Uh, so I just have to put four, I just have to put down four more cards and I'm already and I'll already be back to uh, Mortar as I'm, I'm back right now and he hasn't even gone through his entire cycle yet. So I'm thinking about putting down another Mortar right now. Uh, I sort of thought about splitting Skelly so I can get to my Knight, but I'm like, okay, we're just gonna do the uh, same thing we did last time with the Archers. So we put down Expo and I put down Archers. I put down Skeletons to protect my Archers. I'm gonna go with the zap right here so that uh, my tower can take out those that those goblins quicker. And so now we're just gonna let the mortar run. We're probably gonna get one more shot. Uh, there we go. And we're gonna do a knight, take out this valk, and we're gonna put down another mortar right after. Uh, the thing about this deck is that you gotta keep a lot of pressure on them with the mortar so that they are constantly spending all their elixir, trying to stop your. Uh, trying to take out your mortar rather than actually pushing at you. I don't know why he likes to zap my mortar a lot. Uh, the first time I sort of understand why to lock onto something else. Bad goblin gang. Bad no, got not goblin. Goblin barrel. I would just goblin barrel my tower. So I think I may split archers here in the back. No, nope, I'm going with archers again. We are fully committing onto this side because we really want to get this tower down. So we're gonna drop another mortar. And I believe um, I drop an Ice Spirit, and then I think that's it. And then I'm going to, and I think I uh, rocket it, or I arrow this. I arrow this. And I'm going to put Archers in the back, and then I'm going to put down Knight so I can take care of that uh, Wizard. So that kind of caught me off guard, that him pushing their lane, so I'm trying to deal with this. I'm, I got Ice Spirit. We're zapping that. We're trying to put down archers to help take care of it. We just don't want that expo locking on. Because the expo is going to do a lot of damage. Uh, we're probably going to arrow. Yeah, so that we didn't take any damage from the expo. Um, I think the expo, you just got to keep it. You just got to keep it shooting at other things. Because once it locks on your tower, it's just going to go crazy. So I do the same thing here. Um, I drop archers. I'm going to zap that expo so it stops shooting my mortar. I'm going to put down uh, my tanky unit. I'm going to put down arrows right here because my expo is low on health and I do not want any damage. So now I'm going to start mortar cycling. I'm going to... Um, I'm, it's going to get one more shot. And I'm like, okay, this is the same deal as last time. Mortar arrow. Uh, I mean, rocket arrow. My bad. I do skeletons to drag the Valk off. Um, I'm going to totally forget about that uh, wizard on the other side. We're going to rocket and then we're going to arrow again. We could have just zapped it also. That was a good game. And now we're going to go into a replay where you're sort of not getting anywhere. And your best bet is just to sort of keep pressure and just sort of hope for the draw. So I'm going to go with an aggressive mortar play here. This guy was really good at countering my mortar uh, with this ice golem. I had a lot of trouble getting around it because he either had ice golem, uh, as you see also drop in the middle. Or he had elite barbs to come and just take it out. Um, I tried defending my mortar a little bit longer, hope, hoping it to get like another shot, and that's all it gets. So right here, I kind of panic, so I drop, I drop some archers, um, but I sort of drag the bar, the elite barbs into the kill zone where both uh, towers are shooting at it. And now I'm just waiting for enough elixir so I can do another push. And I'm gonna draw mortar in the night. Pretty pretty basic, uh, pretty basic push. My mortar's gonna lock on to the uh, wizard, take it out. Dropping ice spirit. We're trying to. We're not getting anywhere. So at least at least my mortar took out the wizard. Um, but if you watch in this game, it's basically me playing offense and him just defending and maybe getting a little bit off counter pushes, but not much. We don't really do a lot of uh, damage to each other. Bad cannon on him. 
Uh, I would have actually cannoned closer so the cannon would actually start shooting at the mortar, but I'm not complaining. I'm gonna go leave barb here, so I'm just like, okay, my mortar's done for. I'm just gonna uh, protect this. I drop, I drop skeletons in front of my knight to help uh, defend my knight, sort of. So that one elite barb sort of going at the skeleton instead of trying to take out my knight. So I'm just going to leave my archers alone, hoping he doesn't do anything. He does. So now I have to deal with this wizard. I'm going to take a bit of damage from the wizard. Because um, I just want to I just want to invest it into the push instead. So I'm going to draw... See, he does this ice skull. This is really frustrating me. And then in fact, he also had Inferno Dragon, sort of taking up my tank uh, a little quickly. I also don't. I also really have to upgrade those archers because I do not like it when they keep dying to arrows. Uh, so I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna rock it. I'm gonna rock it to defend. And I'm gonna take out this princess. Uh, and then I'm gonna do another mortar. And then probably yeah, skeletons in front to protect. Archers take out the. Uh, Inferno drag. At this point, I'm like, okay, my more probably gonna get one shot. Yeah, not much. Not really doing much anything. I'm gonna zap right here. Uh, put down knight to defend. I'm gonna rock it again uh, to keep those elite barbs off. Because I know that I didn't, I didn't have, an, I didn't really have um, enough time or any counters to do anything. So he's doing the same thing again, and at this point I'm just like, okay, we're just going to hold out for the tie. Um, there's nothing I can really do at this point. Um, it basically just sort of ends like this. There's not really much going on in the game. Putting down another mortar, trying to defend it. The mortar was a little too far up that time. Um, but it was kind of funny because this mortar actually got the most damage for me. And I think it gets like one more shot. And I'm just like, okay, at this point, uh, we're going to draw. I do believe that if the game went on a little bit longer, um, that I could have, I could have won. Because I was slow, I was getting more damage on his tower than he was getting on mine. So that's the uh, end of that replay. So that's just sort of the basics on how to use a motorcycle. Uh, I just saw it uh, on ladder on my other account and decided to start playing around with it. I'm not a really good siege player, um, but I just want to go over the basics for anybody who happens to want to try out siege. This is a solid deck. Uh, there are expo decks, but this deck sort of caused me to like uh, mortar a little bit more because I like I like cycling my cards fast. This is gonna be the end of the video. Uh, again, if uh, you want to be entered into that giveaway, just subscribe, write down in the comments whether you're, you're on uh, iOS or Android, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye.